Hey guys, welcome back to part three of our inventory tutorial. And uh, I just want to test out and see the results of uh, what we had created last time. So as you can see here, when I click on these different buttons, the red border does go somewhat around um, our objects and uh, we can see this is kind of floating in midair. So uh, let's fix up some of these problems and see uh, how we can continue on it. Okay, uh, first thing we're going to do is uh, I'm actually going to change the um, the physics of these things so that they cannot move. So I'm going to anchor all these objects down. Button enemy bullet, button spinning button, cannot move. And the grid, I also don't want this to be able to move as well, cannot move. Okay, so that should lock everything down. Let's test that out one more time. Right, so if you followed uh, all the code properly, uh, you should have kind of a working inventory. And you're, we're also going to notice something here. Uh, let's click on our monkey first. Okay, we hit spacebar. It's firing bullets. That's good. Go to our inventory. So it's currently selected, got the bullet selected. I'm going to select the coin. I'm going to go back. I'm going to try to fire bullets. And it's still firing the, uh, the enemy bullet. Okay, so our last step is to set it up so that it's going to fire uh, the coin bullet instead. So let's get into that. Um, under our monkey, right, so under our stencil book monkey events, uh, we see that whenever we press the spacebar, it's always firing the enemy bolt. So I'm going to go to flow. We're going we're to create a condition, and we're going to check our gain attribute. So if our current bullet is enemy bullet, then we're going to fire our enemy bullet, of course. And if we test this game out, uh, we'll see that uh, when we have the coin selected, no bullets are going to fire. And we'll be fixing that up very shortly. But let's just see this in action first. Oops, waiting for that to load up. OK, select my monkey, fire uh, enemy bullets, go to my inventory, select the coin, go back. If I push spacebar, Nothing fires, and this is actually uh, what we would expect to happen. Um, if we go back to our inventory and we reselect our enemy bullet, right? So we're going to get our enemy bullets back. So this is actually expected because there are there's nothing that tells our monkey to fire the coins. So we're going to add one more if here, and it's going to be very similar to this one. So I'm going to just drag and find these things on. We're going to get our enemy bullet. Sorry. If our current bullet is a spinning coin, right, then we're going to create an actor. Let's search for create. Create actor. And it's going to be pr pretty much exactly the same as what we've got up here, except we're going to choose our spinning coin, not our spinning coin button, but our spinning coin actor. Okay, I'm going to get the x and y coordinate of myself. x and y, put these inside, center x, center y. And we can also set the motion, set the speed of our last created actor. Make sure you change that to 100. And this should now give us a selectable inventory. So let's see this in action. All right, I'm going to select my monkey. Spacebar, enemy bullets, inventory. Select the coin, go back. And indeed, our coins are uh, firing. Okay, so we can reselect enemy bullet. Right, so that concludes our tutorial. Uh, we will see you guys next time.